Lawrence, are you doing pure ground up development? Is that your game? I, I, honestly, Tom, I do, I do everything. <laughs> so I, I, work I the, with, let I work me, with developers. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Like the context of my question is, yeah, I like Pilsen. It's great. I can't find inventory there. So like, are you, are you finding lots and are you, these lots you have sat on? Because, you know, that all sounds great, but as an investor, I'm scratching my head saying, I can't find anything there. Well, Tom, that's, that's a whole nother problem we're getting right now. So just before COVID hit, I remember last year, um, 2020, it must have been January, February. So the, the, the spring market was just starting, but it was before COVID hit. There was a period where I remember thinking, wow, we, the demand is so strong and the inventory is so light. Then, of course, COVID came and there wasn't that much inventory, but the demand fell off. So we kind of had that equilibrium. And now we're back with this demand being stronger than the inventory. So we're in a stage where it's not easy to find good buildings anywhere in the city, let alone Pilsen. You're you're 100% right. So um, what I'm doing, I would say over half the buildings that I've closed the last few years, I'm typically matching buyers and sellers before they even hit the market. And if COVID hadn't happened, it would probably be about 95% of them. I mean, that's the, that's the, the one value add, I guess. That I'm, th- there's a lot of brokers in Chicago, but really what you want is you want to have the contacts to get the inventory before it hits the market. And the best thing that I can do is, is get an investor and get a developer and get them to agree on a price that works for everybody. I'm a big believer in it's not, life is not win-lose, whether it's real estate or whether it's life. You always want to be looking for, you know, win-win scenarios where everybody's happy. And a lot of developers will pre-sell buildings or pre-sell rehab several months in advance because that way they time is money. So if you can save a few months from finishing a building, marketing a building, finding a buyer, then his loan might take six weeks. If you can cut all that down, so you're literally having your inspection and appraisal when the, the building's 97% finished or something, and then literally closing the following week. It, it, it can be a win-win for everybody. So that's what I've been doing, Tom, is just trying to not letting too many things hit the, hit the market. 